Ground beneath Italy's dormant supervolcano rose 66 feet before eruption. The ground around Italy's dormant supervolcano rose as much as 66 feet before its previous eruption, a new study reveals. In 1538, the ground beneath Campi Flegre, near Naples, swelled to breaking point and then burst, burying the Roman-built village of Tripergole under a cloud of ash and lava that became the new mountain Monte Nuovo. With the volcano again showing signs of restlessness, the scientists behind a new study are trying to better understand what happened during the volcano's last eruption in history. They published their findings in the journal Geophysical Research Letters. Currently, ground deformations associated with volcanic activity are monitored both by satellites and by ground-based detection networks, said lead author Elisa Trasati, a researcher at Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, in a statement translated from Italian. However, we still know very little about the volcano's behavior and eruptions in the past, before the advent of the instrumental era. The Campi Flegre, meaning burning fields, or fiery fields, is a vast, largely hidden network of 24 craters and structures that stretch from its large caldera opposite Mount Vesuvius on the western edge of Naples, all the way to the nearby Gulf of Pozzuoli. More than 1.5 million people live above the vast underground volcanic complex, and half a million have homes inside the 7-mile-long, 11-kilometer-long, caldera, which was formed after a catastrophic eruption 39,000 years ago. The volcano has been restive since the mid-20th century, with bursts of heightened activity in the 1950s, 1970s and 1980s. Another period of unrest began in 2005 and is still ongoing. Since then, the ground beneath Pozzuoli, a town that sits atop the volcano, has risen 4 inches a year, a 13-foot change in elevation since the 1950s. Campi Flegre has also been experiencing a steady stream of small earthquakes, with more than 600 detected in April breaking the record for the largest monthly quake ever recorded in the region. To better understand the volcano's current rumblings, scientists turn to its past, feeding data from geological, archaeological and historical sources into a mathematical model that estimated the flow of magma beneath Campi Flegre's surface. It turns out that the eruption was preceded by a massive ground deformation that first occurred in the Pozzuoli area, then localized in the crater area of the subsequent eruption, reaching a height of 20 meters, Trasati said. Volcanic gases have seeped into the crust deep beneath Campi Flegre's surface, causing it to stretch, bend and shift, which is what caused the earthquake. Once enough gas had built up, the Earth's crust ruptured, sending a column of magma four miles deep erupting toward the surface, the researchers said. That eruption was followed by a period of subsidence and subsequent uplift, before the volcano went dormant until the 20th century. If Campi Flegre had indeed repeated its largest known eruption 39,000 years ago, it could have sent molten rock and volcanic gas into the stratosphere, unleashing a 100-foot tsunami and spreading a plume of toxic sulfur and ash that could have plunged the Earth into a global winter for years, 
killing crops and causing mass extinctions. But the researchers found that Campi Flegre's eruptions weren't always so catastrophic. Only a hundredth of the magma that had built up inside the volcano before the 1538 eruption erupted to the surface. That means the eruption could have easily subsided without the volcano unleashing its full destructive power. 